Hello, <laughs> it's been a while, over a year now since I've recorded my last, or since I posted my last YouTube video. Um, I've definitely been trying to record videos, but I just, I wasn't in the right headspace. Um, a lot of, a lot has happened in the past year. I'm in a new place. If, you probably noticed uh, my husband and I we left Colorado we moved back to California and um, there's a lot of transitioning that we had to do I ended up here in a separate studio space which is cool I always thought it would be so cool to have a separate studio space from where I live um, so I was, I'm very fortunate to be able to use this space, um, however, I think I, uh, I definitely took for granted being able to just, you know, walk down the hallway to the other bedroom where I had all of my art stuff and I could do art stuff, um, in between cooking and right before I went to bed and it was, it was, it was a lot more convenient back then, even though it was a small space. I still really loved that studio. I really missed, um, I really missed Colorado for that bedroom where I kept all my art stuff was just excellent lighting. Like I have uh, south facing windows. They were joking about that stuff. South facing windows give the best lighting ever. Anyways. So now I'm in this little, um, this little studio apartment and it's cool. Uh, we moved almost all of my art stuff here as well as some other furniture that didn't fit in uh, our current house that we moved to. And originally, you know, I was going to be really dedicated to my art and really take the time to focus and make use of this space. Um, and then I got a full-time job in California and it was a night shift job so like the days kind of blended together and sleeping was really hard and when I'm when I'm tired like I can't I can't draw paint or paint or do anything creative because my brain is just mush um, and so it was really hard adjusting to a night schedule again and and then some other personal stuff happened like I got into a car accident we were okay our car was not okay um, but because of that I developed really bad like, PTSD I guess um, related to, to cars and driving um, I used to drive all the time um, and then I couldn't anymore. I started getting uh, really, really bad panic attacks whenever I tried to drive or whenever I was like forced to drive after the accident. Um, and even being just like in the passenger seat, I would, I would be panicking like the entire time. I would be in fight or flight like the entire drive, which was just, it was not great. Not great for my mental health, not great for my creativity, and really not great for just like being 
independent. <laughs> I used to drive myself everywhere all the time. Um, but for the past year, I, I had been relying on my husband to drive me everywhere. Um, which was like the worst time for me to have a studio apartment that I had to, or a studio apartment, a studio, art studio that I had to actually drive to <laughs> because suddenly I could no longer, um, I could no longer drive, which put, put a damper on it. Um, and I, w I would feel bad having to ask him to drive me all the time. And, um, and we were always tired. We both worked at the same company we were both really tired from our night shift job and so um i just took a break which is okay if you need to take a break from art from your hobbies from whatever it is take a break nothing wrong with that um i was still working i was still making money i was still sustaining my livelihood it was just not art related it was a job that paid the bills um but now i would like to get back into art so that my art can pay the bills that would be cool that that was always my main goal and now um i've come to a place where i'm starting to be okay i drove myself to the art studio today um which was huge a huge step um yeah, so now I'm like slowly getting back into who I was before the accident. Um, starting to be more independent. Uh, definitely trying to focus more on creating and drawing. But first, I need to settle into this space. Technically, we've had this art studio since we moved last year. So I've had this space for over a year and most of my art stuff has been in boxes and not really like organized um and i can take you around there's not really much to see because i it, it's kind of what you see back here is what you get um it's it's a small little studio it has this living slash kitchen area that we're in right now and then there's a bathroom and a bedroom but the bedroom we use to store like furniture and my parents um they stored their tools back there and stuff so it's not really being used as like an art space so really it's just this right here which you see um it needs a little it needs a little love a little tlc the lighting in here is okay it's not great definitely need new lighting um Definitely need to figure out some storage. I mean, I have a bunch of storage, but it's not cute. <laughs> um, yeah, so as soon as I settle in here and figure out what I where I want to go with my art journey then definitely you'll be seeing way more videos here so hopefully a studio makeover tour soon probably not the next video um, but definitely soon <laughs> so this is the space um there's my art desk here's all my storage uh this is the t-shirt press thing more storage um yeah it's nice it's a nice space it's not too bad there's that and then I really, really love the sink because it's all stainless steel and metal and perfect for painting and an easy cleanup. It's great. Um, 
Yeah, sorry, it's like, it's super messy in here, but you know, that's just real life. This is what the art studio looks like now. This is probably what it's gonna look like for at least a couple months. Um, but it's it's workable. I, I still have my desk. I can do all my work here. It's fine. Um, it's just, I mean, it's not aesthetic for videos, but you know, it'll work for now. Um, also, I'm using my GoPro because I wanted to try. I like how it's got a wide, like a wide lens feature versus like the iPhone's cool and all, but like it's a little limited when it comes to shooting cool videos. Um, and plus the GoPro has like a stability thing in it. So when I'm like walking around, hopefully you won't see too much movement on the camera, I feel like. You know, it kind of, um, Like I'm walking. Does it look like I'm walking? I don't know. It's kind of just tripping me out. I'm like watching the video and I'm recording at the same time and I'm tripping out. Okay, I need to stop doing this. <laughs> Thank you.